What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Lucario team. A justified Lucario. So the idea here is this mouse hold is gonna beat up Lucario, and every beat up is gonna give it plus one attack, making it insanely strong. You can also beat up this Archaladon with stamina, giving it a bunch of defense boosts for its body press. The rest of this team, we have a Choice Spec Zor, which you know I love. This one has Fighting Terra Blast. That's a little more reliable than the Focus Blast I was running on my Zor. And a Pixelate Throat Spray Sylveon. Pretty strong set. Terra Ground Terra Blast for coverage. And a Murkrow. It's just a Murkrow. It sets up Brain for our Chaladon. It sets up Tailwind for everyone else. This was sent in to me by Axzlu. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it looks super cool, so I just wanted to play it. If you want to send me a team, I recommend going over to Twitter and DMing me it there. Hopefully that works out best. Uh, I'm not going to promise anything, but if I like it, I might play it. But anyways, let's get on to the battles. Alright, we've got Pelipper Archaladon on their side, so they might put up Rain for our Archaladon on their own. We've also got Porygon 2, King Gambit, Ursa Luna, and Mousehold of their own. Okay. I don't want Murkrow, uh, Tailwind isn't going to help here, they're just going to put Trick Room up most likely. Lucario could be really good into Porygon too. They've got five fighting weaknesses? Oh yeah, it's Lucario time. Uh, and do I want to put- yeah, I just want to beat it up. They do have Mouse Hold to redirect. We have Taunt and we're max speed, so we could like protect and taunt them. Something like that. Against their Ursa Luna, I'm kind of terrified. I mean, I know Sylveon can do a lot of damage to this whole team, but taking speed control might be hard, because they could probably just Terra the Porygon 2 to live anything Lucario does. Uh, but then maybe it's our Chaladon if we get a couple defense boosts. Maybe we have to tear it in front of the bear. But that might be the play. I don't think back Zorark is the play. I think Zorark is a perfectly reasonable thing to bring here if I'm where to commit fighting Terra on it and spam Terra Blast. That's a fine trainer card. But I think I'm going to not... I don't know, I might be able to save Terra for his back Zorark, but... I didn't bring it. Alright, two fighting weaknesses out front. Love to see it. King Gambit typically can't do much to a Lucario, unless they have like low kick. Or what, Terra Normal? It'd still be weak to low kick. Who's their switch in? Uh, I feel like the King Gambit would Terra here. The King Gambit is the thing that's scary. I think I can close combat and just beat up. Yeah, I'm going to close combat the arch and beat up my Lucario. Lucario should be max speed, so it should be faster than any Archaladon they have. Because they have Pelipper, I think this is probably the stamina uh, spam electro shot set, rather than like a power herb sturdy kind of set. So I do expect to knock it out. If they... They do Terrastalize. I'm predicting King Gambit. It's Archaladon, don't be fairy. Grass, that, that might be okay. At plus four attack, that's triple damage. That might, ooh, King Gambit protects. Okay, this play makes, I guess, sense if you think you can knock out my Lucario here. Which, with my drop defense, maybe. It's not like I could Terra away from my body press weakness. I could just Terra to make Sucker Punch and Beat Up do more damage. All right, plus four, that's three times. That's better than two times. And Grass Terra isn't common on the sturdy, so this probably KOs. Let's go, Lucario. Ooh, all right. And now you don't have Terra for King Gambit anymore, or anything else you have, because you have all fighting weaknesses and a Pelipper. So I'm gonna close combat again, and I'm gonna take a KO on the King Gambit slot, and I'm gonna follow me. If you send in Pelipper, maybe I consider something else? Oh, it's Porygon 2? And it traces justified. Okay, I'm gonna knock out the Porygon 2. It doesn't have Terra. It can set Trick Room, which could actually mess me up. 
close combat, take him out. And then just follow me, I guess. If your King Gambit has Protect, it probably doesn't have anything to hit Lucario anyway. But I'm gonna be at minus two defense now, so... Battle's just cancelled. Lucario sweep. Let's go. Let's go, Lucario. Alright, here we've got... Ooh, a Sun matchup. They've got Lilligant Torkoal. They've got Hisuian Typhlosion. And then Triple Dragons with High Dragon, Garchomp, Dragapult. Sylveon wants to come. And Prankster Rain wants to come. Honestly, Prankster Rain plus Sylveon lead might work. Uh, how fast is this Sylveon? It's fast, but it won't catch a Jolly Dragapult. But it'll catch everything else. Well, against like Lilligant, I would have to Rain Dance and Tailwind to catch it, but... Let's see. Lucario with extreme speed seems all right. They've got two ghosts. We've got... Foul play is actually really strong against a lot of their team, too. Uh, and then finally, it probably should be Archaladon, just to take hits and deal back some damage. We have Fairy Terra, maybe for those dragons. I really hope Sylveon can just punch a big hole, though. Though, turn one Dragapult lead just Ghost Terra Blast into Sylveon could be a problem. Or a Lilligant lead just spamming Sleep Powder. The only Sleep Powder block we have is the Mouse Hold, which I didn't bring. Because I feel like I would need to commit Terra, because they could just close combat the Mouse Hold. Good trainer card, I guess. Alright. So many leads you could go with. And it's Lily Cole. Alright, I guess you didn't see the rain dance coming. I'm cool with this. I do worry a little bit about Sylveon getting hit. I could rain dance protect. And then hyper voice next turn. With tailwind support. But also catching them off guard with rain dance hyper voice might be better. Yeah, I'm just gonna Rain Dance Hyper Voice. Because if they go straight for like an after you Terrifier Eruption play, being in the rain is gonna mess them up a lot. Okay, they Terra Ghosted for a reason. And they're going for a Helping Hand play. Alright, they're going for damage. But with Rain Dance, hopefully they're going for Solar Blade, and now I'm forcing them to charge up. It's Leaf Blade. And Sylveon gets crit! No! Sylveon! I should have just protected. I wanted to protect. I could not have predicted that. Well, our Chaladon can start putting Electro Shots up. In that case, I, I should probably Terra Fairy. Electro Shot. Because I'm going to get close combated here. Maybe I can delay my Tailwind. If I just go for Foul Play. Plus Terra Fairy Electro Shot. Into Lilligant. They're not swapping Torkoal? Well, Torkoal can't really do much. So I don't really care. Might just be a helping hand close combat. They might be just going all in on this Archaladon with helping hand close combat or a close combat earth power. Uh, no, they just click Sleep Powder. Okay, I'm glad I delayed my Tailwind then. Um, they could be like Weather Ball into Murkrow. That could do some damage. Oh, they're not Sash. That explains the Terra Ghost then, because Hyper Voice would have KO'd them from full if they kept their fighting typing and didn't get the KO. So they didn't expect the KO either. And then Yawn... Failed. Okay. They were correctly worried about Tailwind Electroshot taking out their Lilligant. They wanted to Sleep Powder or Yawn. 
That's fair. Garchomp shouldn't be able to do much. Don't want to switch in Lucario, though. Saving Lucario for extreme speed in the endgame is probably what I want to do there. Murkrow, I don't expect to get taken out. I think this is a fine time to Tailwind. I'll try to get a stat boost Electro Shot the Torkoal. Yeah, Torkoal's going for Helping Hand, so I guess this is Helping Hand stomping into Arch. That'll do some damage. Can't lie. But it shouldn't KO. Wake up! Yes! Turn one, wake. Let's go. Now with this special attack boost, I'll feel very confident in Draco Meteoring something. Torkoal probably lives this. Yeah. And it has a berry. Okay, so maybe it was never Eruption Torkoal to begin with. Scale shot. Ah, getting a speed boost. Should be taking all of these. Oh, it just barely gets the KO with five. Okay. Alright, a plus one speed Garchomp. Might be able to go before Lucario. Lucario has hit the field, and we're in a pretty good position, I think. Uh, Lucario's not going to be able to Oko Garchomp, but Archelodon will. 216? Nah, Garchomp's probably EV'd to be faster than that. I'm going to Detect and Draco. They swap their Torkoal. Okay, they want their Sun later. And someone Sleepy's coming out. Typhlosion. Okay, they really want the sun later. Garchomp protects. Hmm, don't love that. Lucario cannot touch Typhlosion. All we've got is Meteor Mash. But our Chaladon should be faster than Typhlosion. Uh, we're about to run out of rain. We've got two turns of Tailwind. Garchomp does have a drop to defense. I'm going to try to go for close combat to Oko it. And then plus two Electro Shot is 260. Plus one Draco is a little bit stronger. I don't think I need to Oko Typhlosion. I think I need to Electro Shot here into Typhlosion. No! They could bring in Sun! Oh, I've goofed. That's on me. I messed that up bad. <laughs> that absolutely should not have been Electro Shot. Whoopsie. Lucario does not get the KO. Yeah, I think we were done either way. Garchomp should be faster than Arch. And we're definitely... Oh? Not hitting Lucario? Okay. This way I get this Electro Shot off before Typhlosion can come in. There's no way I outspeed Typhlosion though, and then Eruption should take the game. Four whole turns of Sun left. I guess I have to extreme speed Garchomp here. I mean, it doesn't have to be extreme speed, but I don't want to lower my defense anymore. It's perfectly accurate. The problem is they get in Typhlosion. I don't think our Chaladon can take a hit from it. That's what it all comes down to, is can we take a hit from Typhlosion? Yeah, I goofed there. If I had one more turn and Typhlosion didn't have Protect, then I could have got a big hit off on it. Yeah. If I had Dracoed. It's what I, it's what I should have done. 
Okay, Tailwind is gone. Sun is going to be up for much too long. But Garchomp did just protect, so Extreme Speed is very safe into Garchomp. Should be able to KO. Then I'm at plus one, plus two. Yeah, the only move I can click that'll do anything to Typhlosion is Draco Meteor. Flash Cannon won't do it. Uh, but I just have to live the hit. If they are Choice Scarf, I think our Chaladon can live. But if they are Choice Specs, I don't think we have a chance. Extreme Speed takes out Garchomp. Lucario putting in some work. Okay. And now our Chaladon, you gotta live this. It's spread, but it's full power eruption. Don't be Specs. Oh, Arch took it! Arch took it! Let's go! Yes, let's go! Okay, I was holding my breath there. I knew Draco would probably miss. Let's go, our Chaladon! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Lucario putting in work. Mostly our Chaladon, but Lucario was there. Alright, we've got... Okay, they've got Rain. I like Rain, because our Chaladon likes Rain. Pelipper, our Chaladon. Legion is scary. We do have a couple last respects immunities, though. Amoongus... Maybe we need Mouse Hold for that. King Gambit Garchomp. I see a lot of reasons to bring Mouse. Maybe Mouse Archaladon beat up Strat. Mouse Lucario. Mouse Lucario is a little bit vulnerable to just them bringing Garchomp, whereas the defense boosts are really good versus Garchomp. Neither one of these wants to see an Amoongus, but we can always taunt it. And since they're gonna bring Rain, our Chaladon seems to play. Uh, I'll also bring Lucario, since I'm bringing Beat Up. Might as well beat up the Lucario as an option. I don't think that's bad by any means. It's just extreme speed isn't super valuable into, like, Basky Legion. I could bring Sylveon. Don't love it. Maybe it's just Murkrow for the speed boost. Because the problem I have with Lucario is it's not fast enough. But with Murkrow, it can be. I also don't hate Typhlosion. Not Typhlosion. Hisuian Zorark here. I don't hate it. But I would have to plan a lead and... That's a cool trainer card. I mean, Entei's face is a little obscured there. Maybe that was your goal? I don't know. Our Chaladon Basque Legion. Okay. I like just beat up body press here. Um, you could try to delete my mouse hold by like swapping in Pelipper and wave crashing. What I can do against that is Oh, I could guess, I guess I could call that Protect Electro Shot. That's dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna try to beat up. That's what I really want to do. And try to body press your Arch Aladon. I I'm gonna count on them not... Oh, they did it! No! No! Ah! I should never have said it out loud. They must have heard me and been like, Oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to do just that. Uh, if this is a defensive Terra, Electroshot wouldn't have caught them anyway. It's Terra Water. Oh, it must maybe Flip Turn then. Then the Electroshot play wouldn't work. Yeah, it's probably Flip Turn. Do we go down to a Terra Water Flip Turn? It must be Choice Band, so I think so. Yeah. That's... Not the worst. I mean, we do lose Mousehold, which is bad. But they burned their Terra right away. And in a way that is great for us spamming Electroshot. Like, what are you going to bring in here that even threatens our Chaladon? Oh, Garchomp. Yeah, that does. That does it. Ah. 
I could put up my own Tailwind to threaten the Garchomp here. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you Murkrow. Now your Garchomp has to be like, oh no, I don't have Terra. They can just Tailwind Draco Meteor my Garchomp. And you know what I'm going to do? Not that. I'm going to foul play? No. I am going to Tailwind, but I'm actually going to Electroshot your Pelipper. I think Garchomp protects or runs away. Oh, I was so wrong! I was so, so wrong! You were going to let me Draco! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. They they have to have Aqua Jet too. On Basque Legion. This game's over. Oh no! <laughs> Wait a minute. They were faster anyway. That's Scarf Guard Chomp! They have choice Scarf Garchomp! Okay, yeah, now they just Stomping Tantrum again and Wave Crash my Murkrow. And then Lucario has to sweep the whole team, which cannot do. Okay, here's our Chaladon. That's... Better? Question mark? Uh... They stomping my arch for sure. Their scarf guard chomp. Well, no wonder they weren't afraid of Tailwind Draco Meteor. I was never gonna get it off before the stomping anyway. They're going to electro shot my Murkrow and stomping again. If I can. I need to live the Electro Shot. I need to Terra Ghost, Foul Play, Garchomp, live the Electro Shot. I guess I'll try to Draco the Garchomp slot just in case it was a speed tie or they let me for some reason. I don't know why they would Stomping Tantrum my Murkrow. It would work! I Terra Ghosted. I think it's gonna be Electro Shot there, just Stomping to finish off Arch. That would be a really awkward speed for them to be if they were speed tying me. Alright, we do do over half. That's great. Stomping takes out Arch. That's less great. I could have Terra defensively last turn. Then I would be eating up a Flash Cannon. I oh, it is Flash Cannon. Well, that's not Electro Shot. That, that I can take. Okay. Okay. Now Murkrow's faster than Garchomp. And Lucario might be able to Oko our Chaladon. How's this Tailwind going? Two turns of Tailwind. I need to foul play Garchomp. They can't get around that. If I protect here, they bring in Basque Legion. No, I, I need the 2v1 versus Basque Legion. And even then I still might lose. I need close combat to Oko our Chaladon. Lucario, can you do that for me? 162? This this is all on them. How they trained their Archaladon will determine how this game plays out. If they if they have enough defense, if they're like max HP, they take this. Yeah, they're max HP. Um, they might not get a KO here. I don't know what they're going for. Yeah, they're stamina. Well, I had a chance then with a, for, with a crit because they're not sturdy. Okay, take out the chomp. Which definitely would have taken out my Lucario, so I had no choice but to... Body press, that's gonna hurt! Ooh, bye Lucario! Yeah, that's game. Ah, oh, So close. Then Lucario would have been faster than Basque Legion under Tailwind. Would Murkrow have been faster, though? Uh, probably not. I mean, we can find out here if we would have been faster. 
Because then it would have been close combat plus foul play if you hit my Lucario. Or a close combat plus extreme speed if you hit my Murkrow. Yeah, if we got that KO on our Chaladon, I think we win. Uh, let's see if Murkrow is faster, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. Aqua Jet should KO Murkrow. Yeah. Man. Uh, that was a good game. Uh, you had a lot of surprises I wasn't ready for. I was... I called out the turn one. If I had called that correctly, that would have been a free turn. If I had just electroshotted... Oh, that would have been great. Anyway, GG. Alright. Charizard, Murkrow, with Sunny Day most likely. Sneasler and Didi, probably Psychic Seed and Didi with Unburden. Dragonite, weird to see on an Indeedy team. Probably not Choice then. And Sinistra. Sinistra? What's Sinistra doing on this style of team? Oh, it's coaching Sneasler plus like Assault Vest or Lumberry Dragonite. With maybe multi scale. Okay, that's gonna be really tough. Uh, the best way to break through that would probably be Lucario. Problem is, Lucario is slower than Charizard and would get obliterated. We're also weak to fighting, so Sneasler can just hit us and we can't Terra away from that. Is my Murkrow slow by chance? Uh, that's pretty slow. About as slow as Murkrow gets. Maybe I could set Rain second. I think. Lucario is hard to use. I think Zorark is great, though. Zorark. Mousehold. Murkrow, Lucario. Yeah. Then it'll look like I led Mousehold, Lucario. Hopefully I put that in the right order. Sleeping Gyarados. Okay, good card. I love Gyarados' model in this game. A lot of models look really good in this game. Okay, Sinister Dragonite. That's not what I was expecting at all. But now they're going to expect beat-up stuff. I'm just going to Bitter Malice the Dragonite, get an attack drop there. And maybe, do I want to taunt Sinistra? Follow me away whatever hit Dragonite's going for? I think I want to taunt Sinistra, I don't know what it's going for. Going for Rage Powder. Okay, that's fine. Then I hit you with the Bitter Malice. And next turn I can do it to Dragonite. Choice Specs, Bitter Malice, is that KO? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the Dragonite... Earthquake! Okay. Follow me would not have stopped that. Oh, that wasn't that much. That is not Choice. And you already knew I was a Zorark. I, Lucario doesn't learn Bitter Malice. I think. That'd be cool. Sneasler. Okay, I mean, you can't put a fighting move into my Zorark. You could have Throat Chop. I'm gonna Bitter Malice the Dragonite. Oh, it's probably like Terra Flying Coaching. Yeah. <laughs> Bitter Malice, the Dragonite. Protect? Follow me? I'm gonna protect. I think they want to go after Mouse first. Extreme speed into Mouse, okay. And then what? Is it coaching? Is it close combat? Are you slower than me? I like that. Attack drop, and your hospitality's gone. Oh, they have Rock Slide. Uh, friend Guard, save me, please. Oh, Friend Guard doesn't need to save me. My Zorak's slippery. Let's go. All right, Attack Drop on Dragonite is fantastic. That did no damage, because it's multi-scale. I'm going to now Bitter Malice the Sneasler.
They have Rock Slide. I think it's fine to Terra Ghost the Mouse Hold and follow me now. Yeah, Dragonite swaps probably into Indeedy, since I'm throwing ghost moves at that Dragonite. Yep, perfect. And this will change the speed tier, so you'll actually be faster than Zorak now. Which is annoying, but hopefully I catch you on a close combat, finally. I did pick the right target. How am I going to take down Indeedy in the long run? Lucario's slower than it, actually. If they're max speed. How am I going to take that down? Uh, maybe I can beat it up to uh, break a sash. There's Rock Slide. We are fine. And Bitter Malice will lower your attack even more. Goodbye. Oh, crit. Goodbye. See ya. Beautiful. Zorak putting in so much work. Now against Dragonite, we could, like, protect Bitter Malice again. Lower its attack. Murkrow's good into Indeedee. Lucario doesn't want to fight Dragonite. Uh, I have to Bitter Malice the Dragonite, basically. And then I'll probably just protect and let Zorak go. Yeah. If Dragonite has protect here, this is where it would throw it. Should absolutely protect your Dragonite here. Okay, they do have protect. That's sad, but what can you do? Expanding Force. I think with Friend Guard, Lucario can take an Expanding Force. I think I want to go into Murkrow first. Put up Tailwind? Maybe Foul Play something? Yeah, if I go into Murkrow, I can break in DD's Sash and set up Tailwind. Next turn, Foul Play the Dragonite. Yeah, I think in DD would probably be Sash on that team. Alright, here's a Terra. Probably a flying Terra Blast from Dragonite, then? Indeed, he's going for Terra. Terra Fairy. Double into Murkrow, Extreme Speed, Dazzling Gleam? Would that even do it with Friend Guard? Or is this just a defensive Terra to not get foul played as hard? I'm just hitting you to break a Sash. I wish I had Pop Bomb. <laughs> Offensive mouse hold would go crazy in this matchup. It is Dazzling Gleam. That shouldn't take out mouse hold for sure. Murkrow eats that pretty well. And scale shot into mouse hold. Alright, they get one speed boost, but our Murkrow should still be faster. Lucario will definitely be faster, so we have to hit a Meteor Mash and a Foul Play, and then I think we're good. Plus they lowered their defense on Dragonite, so I think Foul Play Oko's them now. Uh, the question is, is it possible for them at plus one to outspeed my Murkrow? Two, twenty-two. Oh, they, that's not going to happen. There's no way they would have invested that much. Foul play Dragonite. That's like max speed Jolly Dragonite might be able to make it. We do have to hit a Meteor Mash. 90 accuracy. I see no other play. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Indeed, he just protects. That doesn't matter. Foul play is gonna knock out Dragonite. And I had to attack it because I worried about how much expanding force would do to my Lucario. Foul play. Goodbye. Get on out of here. Thank you very much. Lucario, you got this. You got this. Last turn of Psychic Terrain. I wonder if it's worth protecting then. 
Dazzling Gleam isn't going to KO Murkrow without a crit. Just to cover for the miss on Meteor Mash. Foul play. Uh, but then they could get rid of another turn of my Tailwind. Yeah, I could end up running out of Tailwind if I lose Murkrow. I need to hit this Meteor Mash right now. Battle's just cancelled. They, they figured I would hit it. Okay, I'm cool with that. GG. And we are back. I did not expect Lucario to do this well. I, I knew it would be strong in the right conditions, but I didn't think it would actually be picking up dubs, uh, if I'm being honest. But anyways, thank you very much for sending me this team. It's great. Uh, and anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace. <laughs>